Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about some useful date functions in Pega. Yeah, let's get started into the topic. <clears throat> so in Pega, like we would be going across uh, different functionalities and uh, we might be having a scenario format date or to present a date or to play around the date formats as the Pega application grows up in different regions like few regions accepts like mmdd yyyy otherwise few regions accepts like yyyy mmdd so in these scenarios we are having a little confusions like how we can play around the date or suppose we have a string value and you want to add uh, some timestamp to that so in those scenarios how or what are the ways of doing it so just i have taken five simple examples for this short video so first one is add to date this particular function is useful when you have a date in yyy mmdd format and you want to add a timestamp to it so i have given add to date function and this is the string value and if you want to add some days to this respect to date you can give this hours or minutes or seconds so for example this is the text see this is the date now you can see this gives you timestamp value so as we know in expression builder here we can go here and search with this and you can see the signature of the function okay suppose i want to add one more date for this see date has been changed to 15 and suppose here I want to add some five hours, five hours, 40 minutes, 40. In this way, you can now uh, use a string format and you can convert it to timestamp in this particular function. And suppose you have a scenario like you want to see the difference between two timestamps and you want to compare those and you want to return true or false whether same timestamp is there in the both input this is the function compare date timestamp and see here i have given two timestamps this is 2022 0109 and this is 1109 if i give test see this is false because these both are not equal for example, now I have given this as 0, 01. This is true because these both timestamps are same. And now you want to know the difference between two dates. There is some function called as date time difference. So here I am giving a date. See, this is the selection. This is 2022 October 10th, and this is current date time. This is also a OOTB function. Now, if I want to see the difference in months, I have given M. So, this is 10th October, so that is October. Now we are in November, that's why difference is 1. Suppose if I want it in days, 35 days. Suppose I want it in hours. So in this way, we can use this date time difference for function signature and all. You can see over here. And this is past date. Now I have, now I want date in this format ddmm yyy. So for that I am using this format date time and this is the current date time I have given. Suppose if you want in this format, you can give this and you can play around this like yyy and dd. So in this way you can play around different date formats. And next is current date timestamp. So if you give this current date time, it will give uh, with GMP. 
but if you want the exact date value you can use this function see it has written in yyy mmdd so these are the different date functions that are available there are more functions available regarding date time i have just generalized five functions which are more useful for us in day to day development hope you have learned something thanks for watching thanks for watching this video please share subscribe and like the videos